Hey everybody. <laughs> Happy Monday. Happy Martin Luther King Day. I am nine minutes late. It is Monday, January 18th. Wow. January's almost gone. If you're here, make sure to say hello. I'd love to chat with you. Um, I'm wearing my Muppet sweater today. <laughs> I thought because we're making a Valentine card today, um, but we're gonna. I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques. Hi, Carol. How are you today? Hope you're good. Um, we're using several different things, but we're gonna do some. Last week we used some stenciling, did some stenciling, and so I thought this week um, we would do a different kind of stenciling, or we'll use some stencils to emboss. Glad to hear it, Carol. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. Hi, Donna. Hi, Mom. <laughs> this is the card we're going to make, and I think it is kind of boho because of the colors I'm using. And I'll show you how I chose those colors, but um, the base of the card is um, petal pink, which is kind of a peachy pink. And I took the color out of the paper I'm using which is from the pack. Hi, Chris. Um, it's from the Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper pack. Such cute paper. And I'm using this print for my birds and my card base. So they're a little non-traditional. They're not, um, there's some petal pink in there, but I think the dark red is a, um, cinnamon cider and terracotta tile. So, um, I think that's what kind of gives it a little, little boho look. Um, the print I'm using today is this one. I'm using both sides. We're going to cut the birds out of our little splats of, um, watercolor. And, um, the little hearts for the wings. And then I used a layer, the first layer on the card is the opposite side. And I'm using several different items. The sentiment comes from the Always In My Heart stamp set. That's in the new um, spring mini catalog, which if I reached, I'd probably knock everything over, so I'm not gonna reach. Maybe I have one back here. I do the spring mini catalog. It is the always in my heart and it is on page 12. I just grabbed it because it was on my desk from last week. And there it is. I still do not have the um, dies and I could have used this die but I hand cut my sentiment um, here. On the little tag. So um, I need to get my order in. I just keep getting distracted from that. Then we're also going to use the um, birds and more dies. I didn't use the stamp set but I did use the dies from that. Um, you get several dies. It's, it's really cute and um, it is in the annual catalog. So we're going to use the bird die and the heart die. Not going to use any stamps. In fact, the only stamping I did today was the Be My Valentine stamp. And then we're also going to use the Stitch So Sweetly dies um, just for our little um, scalloped border around the basic black. So the first thing we're going to do so it can get dry is take our... Um, embossing paste. My paper's not staying down. And if you've ever seen me use embossing paste, you know that I always cover it with saran or something to keep it um, from drying out. You, you want to do that. Once you open the seal, you want to kind of keep something over it and then put the lid on top of that to keep it from drying out. Hi, Kim. 
So then I went ahead and cut my piece of basic black cardstock out with um, the largest Stitch So Sweetly die. And we are going to emboss little polka dots on there. And I'm using the um, basic pattern decorative mask. I'm using the polka dot one. But you get four in a pack. And like we did last week, you can also use these for um, sponging or using your um, blending brushes. You don't have to use these just for the embossing paste, but today that's what I'm going to do. And these are also in the annual catalog. I think they're only like $7 for four of them. It doesn't say on the thing, but I think that's what they are. They're not too shabby. And you get four. And I thought polka dots would go good for um, for Valentine's Day. And I did an extra little step. I took the white embossing powder and I'm going to mix some. If I can find my little, here it is. I'm going to use my little craft mat. I am going to mix some petal pink ink um, in it. I really, I usually just use a paper, or a a paper plate to do this but <laughs> I was already seven minutes late and I didn't want to run upstairs and get a paper plate and we were out of them down here so I don't need a whole lot for this because it's just this tiny little um, rectangle that we're going to cover so I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, cover back on this because like I said it dries out pretty quickly which is good for us that it dries quickly so we can get on with our project, not wait for it to dry. But this is what I do. You could use saran wrap. I just use the bag it came in and I pull it tight around there and then put that on there. This is about, this is probably maybe nine months old um, and it's fine. It's still good as long as you keep that saran on it. Okay, and then I'm also using the little... Um, tools, the utensils, and my favorite one is this one. I think when you work with these you kind of find one that's your favorite one, but this is the one I'm going to use to mix the color in. So I'm going to flatten this out a little bit, and then I'm just going to put a drop. This is the Petal Pink Inker Refill, some ink refill. And then just like um, it looks really ugly right now. It looks kind of rusty, but it'll it'll mix in. Um, just like cookie dough or cookie frosting or you know mixing food coloring into something like that. You just have to kind of um, keep at it, work at it till it's all in there really nice. I've got a piece of, no, not too bad. That might have been a piece I scraped off the edge of the jar that I don't want in there. It's really kind of fun to play with. Like I said, I usually just do this on a paper plate, but um, my craft mat will wash off later. You do want to wash your stencil off pretty quickly, or if you're working with it, just keep a little, like a pie pan or a little pan of water nearby to um, set it in when you're not working with the stencil because this will dry, and you can get it off, but it's really hard if you let it dry. I'm sorry, my nose itches. Just... <laughs> okay, so now I'm, I think I'm going to use this one. I always, This is my favorite one to do. And we are going to take our little piece of basic black, get all the dust off. I'm just going to lay this on top and probably uh, tape it down a little bit so it won't shift on me. And then I'm just going to, like you're doing... Um, 
I don't know what it would be similar to. Like you're doing maybe stenciling. <laughs> Just kind of lay it on thick. I like to lay it on thick. And then I'm going to scrape it off. I don't want a real thick layer. I could have mixed this up a little bit better, but I think we're going to be good. So see how I'm just putting, I put it on, it's gone through those little um, circle crevices. And then I'm just going to scrape it off and make sure all those little holes are filled. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna do it a little bit heavier over here. This is just creating a little background for our little birds. Okay, then you wanna just peel it up There we go. I don't know if you can see the texture on camera. It's slightly raised and it looks um, it looks kind of like velvet or velour. <laughs> and now it's petal pink instead of white. So I'm gonna set this aside. And like I said, when you're working with this at home, those stencils dry really fast and they are hard to clean if you let them dry completely. So, um, Make sure you um, get them to some water pretty quickly. I thought polka dots were cute for um, Valentine's Day, Carol. Okay, I just have a scrap of that uh, print that I want to cut my birds out of. So I'm going to take my, I think I set everything over here. Here we go. I am going to take my little... I chose the little birds with the short tail <laughs> and the little heart. Oh dear, is my heart not on here? That's not going to be good. That is not going to be good, folks. It must be laying around here somewhere. Is it just not on here and I'm not seeing it? We... As Martin Luther King Jr. would say, we shall overcome this. Um, we'll find it. It's here somewhere. It's by the vine? It was on there? No, the heart isn't. Oh, thank you, Donna. It was. Thank you for your eagle eye. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so I'm using those two dies, and then I'm using the scratch paper. And we'll grab, we'll grab this little um, mini machine. I'm going to set this somewhere safe to dry a little bit. And I think I figured I could get one bird out of this down here. It's going to look a little different, but I don't want to waste, I don't want to waste this paper. So I'm going to get a bird right here. She'll have a little bit of the white background on her. Um, I'm finding that this tape I ordered off of Amazon is not working. And I think I got a bad roll because I've had good luck with this purple tape in the past. But this roll. And then we'll go ahead and cut a heart out of this um, petal pink part. And then we'll run it back through. We're going to have to run it through several times because I also, I don't know if you girls noticed, I also put one of the hearts on the birds, raised it up um, as their little wings. So 
we will run it through here about four times. So there's our first bird. Now to get them to um, look at each other, I, since I used the same uh, bird die, the one with the short tail, I'm going to have to do the second one on the back side. And I think I determined I could get one right out of this corner right here. So I'm going to... I like to use every scrap of paper. <laughs> Pull that up to the line, and yeah, it looks really good right there. So we are going to cut that out. So that'll be our second bird. Well, that doesn't work when I move it around. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to get in the light here so I can see. There we go. There we go. Get him glued down there. Okay, here's one of our hearts. And then we need another heart. And go ahead and Thank you. I call this my Muppet sweater. I don't wear it very much. I do wear it a lot in February for Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I don't know. I think I got it off of Amazon. Maybe Target last year. I, it's, kind of, it's kind of fun, though. It's kind of furry. It's very soft. <laughs> I did get it from Target last year. Okay, there's another bird and another heart, and we need one more heart. So I'll just get a little piece right here. I don't think my tape's working at all. This is why I kind of like to do the die cutting before y'all get here. But I thought you wanted, you might want to see how I got the birds. I just used the opposite side of the um, of the die cut. I wanted the birds to be the same size. I'll put these over here so I don't lose them. Um, because I could have used the larger birds. I tried the larger birds. They have the longer tails. Actually, I think the larger birds are on my sample. I did use the larger birds on my sample. But you just have to turn it. So, um, but I kind of like these birds with the short tails. And I forgot I had cut these. So I think I'll use, I kind of like this guy with his, <laughs> his uh, psychedelic splatter. It's kind of fun. I think I'll use those two. I must have cut those out before when I was practicing. Okay, for the, um, wings I just took a mini dimensional they were almost the perfect size to put them on oh my gosh I lost one that movie from uh, 
What movie is that from with Julia Roberts that says they're slippery suckers? <laughs> Who knows where it went? There's a snowman hat down there, too. I'll use this extra one we got. <laughs> Pretty woman, right? <laughs> They're slippery suckers. There we go. Those are little wings. I think I'll put it more that way. And more that way. Okay. Then our card base, like I said before, is um, you drop the little stuff too, Donna. I know. It's those little things that just get away from us. <laughs> This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth in the middle to make the card base. And then I took the back side of that watercolor wash uh, print. This is um, this is the terracotta tile, which I thought made the card look kind of vintagey or um, what would you call it? The boho look that's so popular right now. like how it turned out. So I'm going to put this on here. This measures five and a fourth by four. And the little waves or the little scribble, whatever that is, that is the um, petal pink. So that coordinates with our um, card base. So that worked out really well. Okay, now I'm going to put on our, yeah, it's pretty dry. I'm going to put that on, and I'm just going to use some uh, dimensionals, probably just take these, these little things off the edges and pop that up a little bit. My husband's off work today for um, the holiday, and um, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was going to do Make It Monday because I thought, well, maybe he'll want to do something. But then we got to thinking, what is there to do? <laughs> We're kind of stuck at home, and you know, maybe on a normal time we would <laughs> very tweet. That's so cute, Mary Gun. <laughs> very droll. Uh, on a normal time of, we might go to a movie or, you know, on the day like this, it's kind of dreary and cold, but we aren't doing any of those things right now. So it's like, well, I'm going to go ahead and do my make it Monday, meet with my girls. And I think I'm going to do some cleaning here in my craft room. It is a mess. Okay. So I'm popping that right on there. And that is already dry, y'all. That's how fast that um, embossing paste dries. So um, I didn't put it on very thick. So that was a good thing. Um, I thought of using the, the heat dryer, but it's never been real. I think it would be okay. I don't think, I think it would work out. We can, we can do a practice run here and see what happens if it turns brown or whatever. Let me grab some of this extra that I've got and a little piece of scrap. And we'll see if we use the heat gun on it if it um, it's already kind of dry. and Well, I don't think that'll work. We'll get a piece and we'll get some new out of the, the jar as soon as we finish our card and see what happens. Um, I don't. I think it would be fine, um, unless it turns brown. We'll get just a piece of, of the white out and see what happens. I think it would be perfectly fine to dry it if you were in a hurry. So I'm gonna put my little birdies on here. Sorry, my um, 
My little paper keeps shifting. It's with my sleeves. Okay, and then I'm going to take that extra little heart. Did I not cut an extra little heart? <laughs> that's probably the one that's on the floor. Let's see if I can find it. It's so weird. See, if, if I pointed the camera down there, you guys would find it for me. <laughs> like you found the, uh, the die for me. Golly. We'll just get another one. It'll be faster. We're almost done with the card, so sorry about all the delay. Oh, now I've got the wrong. Here we go. Wrong platform. that over there so I don't lose it. Hopefully that one doesn't fly away. Okay, and this one I did pop up. Sorry about that ding. I thought I had my mail turned off. I film with my, my phone and I put it in airplane mode. And um, I cannot figure out how to turn my computer. I wish I could turn it into airplane mode. I turn off all notifications, but I still get those dings. We'll figure it out one of these days. I'm constantly learning. <laughs> Okay, there's our little heart, and then for our little Be My Valentine, I told you all I am using the stamp out of um, the Always in My Heart that I used last week, the Be My Valentine, and there is a coordinating die for this little blippy, um, but I have not ordered that yet, so I'm going to just make my own little blippy. And I'm using Memento Black ink. Oh, I've got it on my fingers, which I should probably wipe off before I get it everywhere. Okay, so I just fussy cut mine. <laughs> Blippity better than anyone I know. You're so funny, Mary. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of follow this line of the stamp. It kind of looks like a ribbon, right? I think that helps the vintage look as well that I hand cut that out. Oh, Soxy sneeze. Did y'all hear that? I think my husband's shaking paint cans. I don't know what he's doing, so I'm sorry if you hear that. Um,
I I don't enjoy fussy cutting, Carol, but um, I don't hate it. I bet you're better than you think you are. I bet you're just being too critical. <laughs> Okay, so I just kind of made, this one's probably a little longer, but it's okay. And then I use my bone and just kind of curled those so they do look kind of like a ribbon. And then I stuck it on there with a, I think I used a regular dimensional. These are the mini ones. There we go. So there's the little vintage -y. Now this one looks different, doesn't it? It's because I used a retired um, stencil on it. <laughs> Uh, you're probably going, why doesn't that sample look like the one she just made? It's I used a retired stencil. It's out It's out by the sink drying. But um, I thought it was the new one, and it was not. So uh, the one you would get in the pack, in the current pack, is like this. has the closer stencils. And then the other three that you would get in that pack are... I don't know where I put them. You guys. I just put them right somewhere, but I can't find them now in this mess. As Mary Gun Fun would call it, mesk. It is definitely a mesk. Anyways, it, um, you get four of them. One is kind of a, you can look it up in the catalog. <laughs> Um, if I can help you, the January Hostess Code, that is an important thing. Um, I will post it in the comments below when we get done here. It's at the top of the Facebook page. It's pinned at the top, the January Code. Um, Mesky Desk Love. <laughs> yes, I learned that from Mary. She's so funny. Um. It's a mask right now. Um, okay, we were going to try that. Um, see what happens if we dry the paste on a piece uh, with the, the dryer. And I don't think it's going to, I think it'll be fine. But we'll learn. We'll find out. Let me get a scrap here. Okay. See this this is nice and fresh because it's I put the plastic right back on there. I'm just gonna I guess I could have um, stenciled something here. That's fine. Reminds me of those candy dots. <laughs> Doesn't it? You know, they used to come on a sheet. I don't think I liked them when I was little. But remember, them? They, they were just candy dots, and they you peel them off the little... <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry for the noise, but let's dry it and see what happens. I'm sure, I'm hoping nothing happens, but I don't think it would hurt. Paper's curling a little bit, but that's not a big problem. I've got it on high, so it's on the highest heat. I'm just 
still a little wet. But they're not turning brown or anything. You ate the paper with the dots, Carol? <laughs> When we were little, my sister and I still oh, damn. Um, there was a Benjamin Franklin in our town or city. We lived in Omaha at the time. And it, our favorite thing was when our mom would take us there and there were the bins of the candy. Penny candy. That was so much fun. And she'd let us get, you know, 10 pieces for 10 cents. Wow. Wouldn't your kids have a heyday now? Kids just don't know what life is life. Is life. <laughs> I think it's taking longer to dry. Because this is dry already over here. Maybe it is dry. It just feels a little... Um, a little, nope, it's dry now, and it didn't discolor it or anything, so yeah, you could use your heat tool on it. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> it dries pretty quickly. I didn't use the heat tool here. It probably got some residual heat, but it's completely dry, so anyways, it's kind of fun to play with, and it lasts forever. You get a big pot, and you don't need a whole lot. Um... So that was fun, girls. I will be back Wednesday. I can't, I'm thinking today is not Monday, but it is Monday. So I will be back Wednesday for Coffee and a Card. And if I can help you with any of your other paper crafting needs, I would be happy to answer any questions or um, provide you with any additional information that you would need. So, um, Turtles and diamond rings. Am I missing something? <laughs> oh, at the Ben Franklin. Yes, you could get everything there. Yes. <laughs> it was a fun store. I miss those kind of places, right? Um, so we'll all see you Wednesday. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>